is this, y'all? What is this? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So today it is another LGBT plus fashion video and I have so much fun making these and I know that y'all love them too So I'm so glad we're on the same page, but today we are going to be going to Target and we're going to try and style their um, Pride collection and make it look cute If you are new to my channel and you want to see more LGBT plus content Be sure to go and click the subscribe button down below Also, if you want to see previous LGBT plus fashion videos I will link them in the description down below as well, but yes without further ado. Let's go to Target Y'all, I spotted the Pride collection. Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, first thing I see is this blazer. Kind of a moment, kind of ugly. We got this button up with a bunch of like different stickers on it, kind of cute. A dad shirt for, you know, those of y'all who want to pull off some dad vibes. This man I can is stunning it in this whole two-piece set, okay. We got proud shirts and a lot of different graphic tees. Oh my God, even babies. Come on, my children. My alpaca children, they will be stunting some pride merch. Even like a little tulle skirt kind of moment, okay. Um, not sure how I feel about that. Love is love. Wait, I kinda, I kinda am digging this red. You know what, I actually could style this. I love how the pride shirt also has like a transgender pride flag because of course it's the LGBT plus community. Oh shoot, they even got like sandals and Bucket hats and accessories. Oh, kind of cute. Tote bags, okay, you can put all the um, homophobes in there. Hey, ladies. Oh my god, wait, stop. This is kind of cringy. Love always wins. Oh wait, love always. Oh. This is for your um, homophobic yet turned accepting dad. Okay, Mike, is this for you? Now Chad. Chad would definitely wear this. Proud 365. <laughs> wait. Stop it right now. Summer's coming up. They even got swimsuits, like trunks, little bodysuit moment, overalls, a little swimsuit cover-up. Oh my goodness, there are so many. Oh, look at this one, black and proud. Oh, I love that one. We got the goods. I will say there were a lot of things there that I personally don't even think I could make look good because they were just so cringy. I personally wouldn't even wear them. They're not my style. So I did get things that were in my style that I saw potential. Um, so this wasn't the worst of the worst, but just letting y'all know that there's worse. But out of all the things that I got, the first thing I got was just a plain old red t-shirt. Like you can't go wrong with the t-shirt. Low key, I'm into the font. Like I'm not too mad about it. Like this is a pretty decent design, I will say. Like it's not cringy. But yeah, I feel like everybody wears t-shirts, so I had to try and style just a basic t-shirt. First up is this graphic tee, and it's basically just there. Not really doing much for me, so uh, I'm gonna give you a little oomph, if you know what I mean. TikTok transition, get ready. One, two, <gasps> boom! Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> so here's my take on the graphic tee look. I went for a low-key monochrome, red pants, red converse, and um, ketchup mustard vibes. I low-key feel like I work at McDonald's, which BTS McDonald's meal, sponsor me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No, but for real, instead of going for like a basic blue pair of jeans, I wanted to do something different, so I thought monochrome would be really cool. So, yeah, you came in to tell that this is Pride because I just styled it in a way that wouldn't get you hate crime. You're welcome, besties. We don't want y'all to get clocked in the house, literally and figuratively, okay? We want y'all to be safe. We want y'all to have a good time. If anything, we want people to clock you for your sickening outfit. So, you're welcome. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. How can I take your order? Oh, you want the BTS McDonald's meal? Well, of course. Here are your two sauces, and that's it. You don't even get a purple bag or a purple cup. The next piece I got is um, quite clownish, if I do say so myself. Just the stripes, y'all. It really screams circus. I just, I don't know. The circus called and they would like their uniform back. Why do all of their pride things make me feel like I work at 
hot dog on a stick. Tell me this isn't like a freaking something you would find at a carnival. Very clownish, I'm saying, right? Like, it's not giving it to the girls the way that the girls want to get it given. Okay, okay, we got schoolgirl Kevin vibes. For those of you who have a cutesy, soft girl aesthetic, this is for you. We got a nice little sweater vest to really break up that stripe that looks like, again, hot dog on a stick. It really just calms the eyes, you know, with little peaks of rainbow. That's not too bad. Again, we have my iconic bottom half. If you don't know by now, white pleated skirts and these little Jeffrey Campbell platform shoes are like my go-to when I don't know what to wear. But you know what? It goes with everything. And you know what? Stay mad about it if you are. We got little hair barrettes in just to make it look more cutesy and girly. And I went with yellow because yellow is like the complementary color of blue. This shoulder bag is actually my mom's. When I went back to Seattle for my birthday, I went ahead and grabbed this from her closet and now I'm sporting it. And I remember growing up and seeing her wear this, so now I get to sport this nice little low-key vintage coach bag that was my mom's. Like, aw, mama flawless, she's with us. This piece right here is uh, a pair of swim trunks. I thought, you know, maybe I could just wear them as actual shorts in like a crop top situation. I don't know, like maybe I actually could wear this out to the beach. Um, I like how they're kind of short, cause I'm a hoe. But you know, maybe swim trunks as shorts, that's the new trend, okay? I'm gonna make it a thing. I knew I was skinny and tiny, but damn, are these shorts really small and squeezing my balls. These are extra small. They were the only ones in my size, kinda. They're swim trunks, but honestly, don't they make my butt look good? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we have a pop of a rainbow, and to calm that down, we just went with pristine white, but no, I don't stop there. Oh, bam, I got green converse. Oh, you know, just on my boba run. Kept it kind of neutral too with the accessories, like a black bag, and then like these sunnies that are kind of fun, right? Kind of retro 70s vibes. But yes, swim trunks, honestly. Oh, they have pockets, they have pockets. Fun fact, actually really sad fact, if you get that meme. Um, I really actually don't know how to swim. Growing up, I literally was like, ew, swimming is like a masculine thing. And I'm over here like, shut your bitch ass up. Like, swimming is a life skill, Kevin, not a little masculine or feminine activity. Oh my goodness, I would have smacked my childhood self upside the head. Next up, we have another button up, but this one's like more loose and flowy. The other one was way more structured. Um, it's basically just rainbow tie-dye. Honestly, you probably could have found this at a thrift store and you probably wouldn't even have known that it was part of a pride collection, which is why I liked it. I do wish that there was like a medium though, but they ran out sizes. This one's a small and the other one they had was like an extra, extra large. Here we have a basic dad shirt and don't get me wrong, I love me a basic dad shirt too. But this isn't just giving me anything, you know what I mean? I mean, the colors are fun. I mean, tie-dye, yeah. She's just sitting there, you know what I mean? Like, you want to make sure that you wear your outfit. You don't want your outfit to wear you, so, um, let's give her a go. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch! I'm giving you full-on dad mode on vacation vibes right here. This is for those of you who have a dad aesthetic. You know, if you're a bit more masculine, here you go. Maybe even wear it without a top. <gasps> Ooh, scandalous! I even got like the beach sandals, which I should probably wash because the last time I wore these were to the beach and I don't want to get them dirty in my house, but whoops. I even got a little like tote. This is Junji Ito. Like how cool is that, right? I really did envision this as like a nice little shimmy shake top, something you would layer with the Bermuda shorts. What I've come to realize is that a lot of my outfits are a bit more on the feminine spectrum, but you know what? I have my inner daddy side, okay? My inner Kim Taehyung. And then these sunnies have like a pop of orange, which ties in so well with the shirt. Like, are you freaking joking me? Nine out of 10, I would so wear this. I only wish this was a medium. This is a size small. And I just like my things to be a little bit more baggier, so. And the last thing I got, and the reason why you're all here is, um, <laughs> The iconic rainbow suit. So this is a two-piece. It comes with like the blazer part, which I don't know why it's short sleeve. I wish it was just like a full length blazer because that would have been a sickening moment. It comes with a tie too, which I don't know how to tie a tie. And then of course it comes with a pair of shorts, which they're kind of flimsy now that I'm like holding it. Like, I don't know. Y'all, I feel like this is too big for me too. Ooh, this is gonna slip right off my bussy. <laughs> what is this, y'all? What is this? I don't know who approved of this when they were at the meeting, but you know damn well a gay person did not approve of this. Oh God, I just, I feel like I'm going to like a pride convention or something and I'm like, 
an orientation leader. This way, y'all, to the right is where, you know, Flawless Kevin will be out for his meet and greet. I don't even know how to tie a tie. Like, do, is this even, oh, I feel like, you know, this gives me like dad vibes. Like your dad is an ally. He's like, hey, Sonny, I want to support you. I've got this pride suit so I can wear the pride with you. And then you're like, no, dad. Like, you don't want to be associated with him because this is an atrocity. This, these don't even fit well. You see this saying it on me. YouTube better not demonetize me for that because it's Pride Month. That would be homophobic, so they better not demonetize me. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. I, mm, y'all don't even have to tell me. I don't need anyone else's opinions, but I snapped. Toss the shorts away. They don't even fit well. Toss the tie. Don't even know how to tie a tie. Kept the blazer, cinched in the waist, honey. Added some boots to edge her up. Accessorized with the sunnies, hair clips, necklace, and purse, and you got yourself a pride fit. Y'all, I look like I'm about to walk into the pride convention now, and I am the manager of the pride convention. I'm not just the orientation leader now. But yes, we got the silver clips. The sunnies just make me look so posh and sophisticated and chic. Some jewelry, of course, matching bag, black accessories, just to <gasps> really give me some shape and definition because girl, this was just boxy AF. And then the boots, can we just take a second to appreciate the boots? Like, look in the mirror, look in the mirror. Do you see the boots? Do you see the boots? Yes, honey, get the boots. And I'm just like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, You need to calm down. You're being too loud. Ugh, I'm so excited to go to Pride now. If y'all wanna come with me, let me know. Comment below if you wanna come to Pride with me because, honey, we about to slight in these Target fits, which, Target, sponsor me. Alrighty, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like this video up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know which outfit that I styled was your favorite. I appreciate the representation that Target is trying to achieve with this collection. I do wish there was more representation with different pride flags or equal amount of representation, but alas, you know, progress is being made little by little. Be sure to go and follow me on my other social platforms such as TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Flawless Kevin. That way you can stay up to date with me and you can always DM me, y'all, which by the way, DM me saying that you're watching the video. Be sure to go and subscribe to my vlog channel where I vlog my weekly life shenanigans. I have so much fun with like boy updates for you all over there too. So if you wanna get more personal, link in the description down below. But yes, I love you all so much. Have a very happy and safe Pride Month. And until next time, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!